Good morning on this Saturday and welcome to our Advent Daily Devotions with Epiphany Lutheran Church in Richmond, Virginia, which we are calling Come Lord Jesus, the prayer that we pray this time of year and indeed every day as we look for the remaking of all creation um, by the God who made all creation, the God who loves us, the God that we know and see in the face of Jesus Christ. We give you thanks for joining us this day and we thank Valerie and Maureen and Ben who will offer our reflection today on God's grace in their life. So thank you, Valerie, Maureen, and Ben. As we gather now for worship, we'll sing a song called Awake, Awake, and Greet the New Morn, which um, is a beautiful song that the writer who created it originally wrote as a Christmas song, but later said, we have a lot of great Christmas songs. What we need are more wonderful Advent songs. And so he changed the words just a little bit to make it fit for Advent. It is a wonderful time to look to God and ask him to come into our life and into the life of the world. Awake, awake and greet the new morn For angels herald its dawning Sing out your joy for soon he is born Behold the child of our longing Come as a baby we can pour To bring all hearts together He opens wide the heavens sorrow and fear Emmanuel comes a singing His humble song is quiet and near yet fills the earth with its ringing Music to heal the broken soul and hymns of loving kindness The thunder of His anthems roll to shatter all hatred and darkest night his coming shall be when all the world is despairing as morning light so quiet and free so warm and gentle and caring then shall the mute break forth in song the lame shall leap with wonder the weak be raised above the strong Rejoice, take heart in the night Though dark the winter and cheerless The rising sun shall crown you with light Be strong and loving and fearless Love be our song and love our prayer And love our endless story May God fill in My name is Valerie Case, and these are my children, Maureen Bosergent and Ben Bosergent. Today's reading is from John chapter 9, verses 1 through 7. As he walked along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's work might be revealed in him. We must work the works of him who sent me. While it is day, night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am in the light of the world. When he had said this, he spat on the ground and made mud with the saliva and spread the mud on the man's eyes, saying to him, go wash in the pool of Siloam. Then he went and washed and came back able to see. So one of our traditions is my grandparents, my mom's parents, um, when they moved to 
France in Paris, they went to a Danish shop on the Champs Elysees and bought this cush, which was their first item that they owned. Um, every year, this is kind of our running joke. My mom used to hold this tiny baby sheep that is nice and fluffy, and she used to hold on to it when she was younger. And so now when we take it out of the box, it smells like mildew. <laughs> and so she still holds on to it because she used to walk around with it all the time. And so we look forward to putting this up every single year. All right, let's have a prayer. <clears throat> Dear God, please be with us during this season of Advent to remind us of all the blessings you have given us, whether we recognize them now or not. During this difficult time, please be with those who are sick, poor, and lonely, especially due to our world situation, and please help them remember the blessings you have given them. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.